Wait, I don't have a drink. Hold on. Good. Good morning. And welcome back to my channel. Let me tell you, I know I usually. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I posted on Saturday, but not Sunday. Okay. Hi. How was your weekend? <laughs> well, I'm not in my car, and I kind of look like I just woke up, but I had some candy last night. I just came to. I haven't had candy like this since, like. <sighs> I think college. Can you see that? And yeah, so I slept wonderful. It's been, I think I graduated college in 2012, so it's like 2020. That's like eight years. Shoot! Anyway, I'm looking a little tired. I have to go get my hair cut today. I know, I actually have something to do. Weird. There's little hairs on my microphone and I just noticed it and it's gonna bug me if I don't take it off. So if you hear something, it's me pulling hairs off of the microphone. Okay, yeah, so how was your weekend? Oh wait, let me go put this back in the refrigerator. So me and Joe kinda just hung out at home, you know, just the usual. Um, we ordered Texas Roadhouse yesterday. It's been so long. I want to say since at least March, since I've been to a restaurant before March. I don't think I went out to eat very much in the beginning of this year, but this tripod kind of sucks. So if the camera starts falling, I'm sorry. Um, so we went to the Roadhouse. Well, we picked it up and we brought it home and it's been so long since we've had eat out food. It was so good. The bread, the cinnamon sugar butter or whatever it is cinnamon butter that was like my dessert yeah so i i was i usually i've been trying to vlog like six days a week but obviously since me and joe were just hanging out i didn't do any of that this weekend but um so we got kind of caught up on the umbrella academy is anybody watching this show umbrella academy i feel like i'm the only one because i'd never heard of it before but i've seen a commercial on like normal tv for it and yeah, I think that's the only commercial I saw for it. But <laughs> me and Joe watched a couple episodes and they kind of, like the way that the show goes, it's like the beginning hooks you, the middle's boring, and then the end, like the very last five, 10 minutes of the show. Mm, actually not five, 10 minutes, maybe like two minutes of the show, it hooks you so you have to watch the next episode. Well, at least that's what we experienced for the first two episodes. And then we got to like episode three and four. I don't know what episode we're on actually. I think we're on three or four, but it's really good. This is the first season. So the second season came out. That's why I seen the commercial for this show. So we started watching the first season and at first, like, all these, like, Marvel Universe, comic universes are hard for me to watch because I have to pay attention extremely well to make sure I catch every single detail, right? Because if you don't catch the details, because these are different universes, there's different rules and laws, and yeah, that's why I usually don't watch this kind of stuff, because it's a lot of work. You have to really, really, really pay attention. It's just not like you know, reality TV where people are throwing shade and if you're paying attention, you catch the joke and you kiki together about it later. No, this is like, you gotta stay focused. Yeah, so before, I think we finished episode four, but it's really good. I wish I would have given it more of a chance last weekend when we started it, cause this is really good. And then, Big Brother came on last night, but I think because of the PGA, PGA? Is that right? But um, yeah, it didn't come on until really late and you know, Joe has to go to work. So we didn't really watch it, but I seen a couple things on my Twitter and my YouTube. So I've, this is gonna be hard. If we're not watching this the night that it, it drops, I already know that I forget his name. I think he either got nominated or he is getting ready to get sent home. But I don't think I watched his season, so I'm not that upset about it, but. I mean, I don't even know what I'm talking about because I haven't even watched the episode, so I'm just waiting for four o'clock, five o'clock to roll around when Joe gets home so we can watch our shows. Anyway, um, yeah, so I have to go get my hair faded today. I actually have something to do, so I was like, oh, I should, you know, like vlog in the morning so you guys can see what an improvement I am from when I wake up to when I get ready. Oh wait, that means that I have to vlog like later. Is this what I want to do today? Cause this, this, okay. When I go to the salon, even though they wash your hair out and they do like the massages, every guy knows that after you get your hair cut, your neck is itchy. 
and it doesn't go away with those that it doesn't go away with the blow dryer you have to take a shower to get all of the neck business off because these little hairs stick when they're fading so um yeah that means after i go to the salon i have to get in the shower again because i'm gonna get in the shower before the salon <laughs> okay well i should probably go get ready get in the salon oh wait get in the salon get in the shower so that i can go to the salon so yeah that's what i did all weekend me and joe hung out oh yeah we had our seven year anniversary yesterday that's why we got texas roadhouse we got some cheesecake i cooked for the first time yesterday because i usually don't cook because it's a lot of work you know and joe's pretty good at it um well he's really good at it that's why i just kind of let him do it so i decided i was going to make some tofu teriyaki tofu that i found at safeway this weekend and you know you just like add the vegetables in there and it was actually pretty decent i was shocked i was scared at the beginning because i have never cooked tofu my other friend that cooks really well she would cook all those vegetarian food for me um, and that's kind of how I became a vegetarian is because I would hang out at her house every day I basically lived at her house and she was a vegetarian So she would make us food every day and I just ate what she made and then I stopped eating meat and then I started like looking up and reading books like skinny bitch or skinny bastard and How did we get here? Oh, yeah, I was cooking tofu so she always baked the tofu because if you've ever you ate tofu, it's like spongy and it just absorbs what you cook it with. It was like sticking to the pan, so I was scared it wasn't cooking it right. But I just kept stirring and stirring and stirring and it all turned out okay. And it tasted good. The sauce was good. The vegetables were good. Maybe I'll make it again and I'll show y'all. But okay, so this intro clip is a little long. So I'm going to stop here. Go get ready. Maybe I'll film on the way to the salon and then on the way home from the salon so you can see this bald spade. All right, let me go get in the shower and then I'll see you in a little bit. What's up? So we're in my car and I haven't had to be anywhere on time in like, I don't know, like five months. So I'm already running late. <laughs> I was supposed to leave probably like five minutes ago, but I forgot this is what my normal life is like when I had a job. I was like rushing everywhere all the time. So I'm on my way to get my hair did. I did the top. I actually cut the top myself because in quarantine, you know, um, we weren't really allowed to go anywhere. And so I started just cutting my hair myself. And I found that if I do an eight and I like, like on the buzzer, if I put an eight guard and I make the length a little longer with like the knobby thing at the bottom, it gives me about an inch and like a quarter of length on my hair which is perfect for what i want to do with it so that's what i've been doing and then if i can i've been doing a two on the sides but um it's a pain in the butt so don't you hate when you're running late somewhere and you get behind like grandpa joe which is like usually me driving but today i'm like behind grandpa joe like do we really need to go one mile per hour over this speed bump or could you like maybe hit the gas and make it five miles an hour okay so yeah this is the before i'm gonna go get it faded to bald and i'll let y'all see it i'm hoping we'll see if maybe i can like just change my shirt afterwards and not have to shower it's just such a pain in the ass to shower again redo my hair go through the whole thing like it takes me a good hour to get ready. The older I get, I feel like the longer it takes me to get ready. And I don't know why. If it's because I'm like taking more steps. If I'm taking my time. But the, I feel like I just take my time more. I'm like sitting on the couch for five minutes. Checking this, that, and the other. And then going in to shave. Or to, you know what I mean? And then like still stuck behind this slow ass car it's actually a beautiful day out it's not too hot it was actually kind of cold this morning when i was letting my dogs out what is it saying oh it's 80 what was it yesterday it must have been like 90 remember that hailstorm i just seen a car that still had its windshield just shattered or you know has a crazy x but i think it was the i want to think it was the hail because my car got it pretty bad too okay so I'm pulling up to the salon. I will check back in when I'm done. I will see you in the next clip with a fresh fade, hopefully. Well, not hopefully. I've been to the salon before and I know Alexis and she can fade like a mother.
so I am not worried at all. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have to like call them and let them know I'm in the parking lot. Oh, and then we'll be back. See ya in the next clip. We're back in the, we're back in the browser faded. We're back in the browser faded. JK, my brows aren't faded. Oh my God, can they do that? I should have asked. They don't have any hair fiber and I always style my hair with hair fiber. So I just had her do the fade, do the wash and I'm done. It looks like my cut goes like that. Maybe it does, and I just didn't realize it. But now I'm headed back home. I have to restyle my hair. My neck is totally not itchy, which is the best part. The guy that, he was at the salon kind of helping her check her fade, and his hair is so thick. I wish my hair was like thick and I could style it the way he had his hair. It was like, looked so sharp. I like the sharp put together look. But yeah, I don't have that much energy now. We were just talking about, oh, you know, just kicking at the salon. Okay, I gotta go do my hair. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that I'm vlogging, or I don't keep, this is the first time I've done it. But I forgot that I was vlogging and I'm like looking around as I'm pulling up to the house and then I like look over into my car and I realize there's a camera straight back at me. Hi. Okay, I have got to go get ready and then maybe I'll run to the bank. I see that bit Bitcoin is like doing really well this week so I feel like I need to go move some of my investments around, you know? Okay. Oh my gosh, when I look down, the bags in my under my eyes look so crazy real oh yeah okay bye okay i'm back and my sides are faded we are back and the brows are filled my chair is freaking squeaky for whatever reason Ugh. excuse me finished product okay so i took a little video in the car but i had my i told well, let me back on up I think I said I wasn't gonna have her wash my hair because i didn't want to have to redo my hair well that didn't happen I ended up getting a wash and a massage, and then I had to redo my hair. So now I have to go find more hair product because I just used the rest of the product that I had left. So that'll be something to do this afternoon, besides, you know, editing and uploading. So I, last week I said I was getting Scent Bird or Scent Box, and it is Scent Box. Now let me see what the scent is, and I will do an official review i hope this thing doesn't need me to sign in because i can't remember my password to nothing so this is light blue by dolce and gabbana whoa <laughs> i just almost fell on my face what kind of professionalism I'm trying to run here okay so scent characteristics are citrus sporty party and summer i didn't know that party was a characteristic of a smell oh my gosh my battery is about to die let me change this battery and then we will this happened with this battery on the last video i filmed i need to stop buying these cheap amazon batteries just get the real deal okay do i look the same i hope so okay so since i am in the middle of reviewing um dolce and gabbana i'm also gonna go ahead and give you guys a review on these batteries i bought for canon cameras on amazon they only last like 20 minutes, but they're MAH. I think it's called milliwatt or 1150 M. I think it's something an hour. So like you should get more time out of these batteries. The one that came with the camera, the Canon one is only 850 and I can record, I think like for an hour or two on that. No problem on these. 20 minutes maybe 30 i don't know why i don't know why but these are the aftermarket ones i bought on amazon i would just go buy them from cam camon from canon directly if you're gonna buy replacement batteries for your canon camera if anybody out there is using a canon which i think only people use canons from what i watch but like i know there's like panasonic and sony but i haven't heard that many good reviews on those so i can't speak to those okay back to the light blue dolce and gabbana review drawing upon their native home of italy this innovative design team have captured the sensuality of the mediterranean a refreshing blend of citrus notes combines perfectly with masculine woods and subtle spice to create a distinctive fragrance that epitomizes relaxed sophistication Ooh, that sounds like me relaxed sophistication mm. okay 
A light blue pour home has notes of Sicilian mandarin, frozen grapefruit peel, bergamot, bergamot, juniper, rosemary, schwann pepper, rosewood, muskwood, incense, oak moss. And the last three ingredients are mysterious, confident, and sensual. Okay, let's see that mature, mysterious, sensual. It just smells like cologne, like not anything special. It just so generic. This is one is not standing out to me. If you want something that stands out, that's like a little feminine and a little not feminine, one million lucky is that. Okay, I can wear that to bed, I can wear it in the morning, I wear it all the time, and it always smells good. It doesn't ever get old, I don't know why, but it's like a little sweet, but a little masculine, it's perfect. Dolce & Gabbana, I wanna love it, but after reviewing 14 other of these, this smells like the cologne you get from Walmart. Like, just so generic. Nothing stands out, and I usually like musky wood, you know? Look, there's something floating in it. The back of my Game Boy? Yeah, you can see it right there. I give up. Okay, there's something white floating in there. Not that that's gonna deter me from using it, but I'm not that impressed. Okay, those are my reviews. Thanks for watching. Got my hair faded, had a good week, and we're gonna have a good week, right? All right, so come back, hang out with me. Oh yeah, don't forget to take a little moment of every single day and cherish it. That way when you're old and you look back, you don't think that you didn't appreciate the little things in life. And I am still posting six days a week, maybe five, depending on the week. If you found any value or if you like this, feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.